Good morning, Cottonwood. So good to see you. I'm Dave Marsh, the children's pastor, and this morning we have several who are coming to be baptized this morning. So uh, baptism doesn't save us. There's nothing about these waters that the city of Allen provides that will wash away our sins. Only Jesus does that. And so this is a picture of what Jesus has done for these folks who are coming to be baptized. He's buried us in our old sins and raised us to walk in new life in Him, as Romans 6 says. And so they're just coming in obedience to the Lord's command to be baptized. Believe and be baptized, and that's what they're doing. Uh, they're coming this morning to put the wedding ring of the Christian faith on. And so this morning, first of all, we have young Hunter Scott. And Hunter is seven, and he's coming to be baptized this morning just above the waterline here. All right. And he is, uh, boy, he didn't even sleep last night. He was so excited about this morning. If you're here this morning with Hunter, a friend or a family in any way, would you please stand in honor of uh, Hunter's decision this morning to be baptized? And Hunter, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted him yes. to forgive your sins? Yes. yes. And Hunter, where were you when you received Jesus? Home. At home. All right. That's a great place to trust in Christ. And now, Hunter, based upon your profession of faith, I call you my brother and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Next we have Allie Newsom. Allie's coming this morning also to be baptized. Allie, if you're here with Allie this morning, would you please stand in honor of her decision? And Allie, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted Him to forgive your sins? And Allie, where were you when you received Jesus? VBS. At VBS. I am so glad this church invests in VBS for our children to come know Jesus and begin their faith journey. Allie, based upon your profession of faith, I get to call you my sister, and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Good morning, church family. My name is Chase Durham, and this is one of my students, Adam Barham. If you're friends or family um, of Adam, would you please rise just in honor of what the Lord has been doing in his life. Adam, have you received Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? I have. And where were you when he saved you? At a Christian youth event several years ago. Amen, amen. Well, Adam, it is my joy and privilege this way, to be able to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the newness of life. Oh, it's always good to uh, be in the house of the Lord and have the opportunity to uh, baptize friends and people as we follow Jesus Christ. To my left is uh, DJ, and uh, DJ grew up in Hawaii, and you've got a lot of friends and family that are out there. If you're friends and family with DJ, would you stand? All right, right there they are, all the way back there. DJ, where did you accept Christ as Savior? I was a keiki in Honolulu, Hawaii. All right, Honolulu. They, uh, they survived the storms. Yes, they did. Family's still there? Yes, sir. All right. And you've accepted Jesus Christ. You're ready to follow him in the testimony of believers' baptism? Yes, sir. Amen. We'll get this right. We only had one practice. PJ, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the name of life. And all of God's people said amen. All right, now uh, we have a special family uh, that's going to come in together. And uh, Christine will have you. Uh, right here, and Pete, you'll stay right here, okay. and uh, Ryan. Ryan right back there. Uh, this family uh, uh, is special uh, to me because it was a year ago yesterday. Where did we meet, Pete? At the taco truck. <laughs> Ran into this family at the taco truck, and it was on me, obviously that uh, it was obvious to me early on that God had just laid out the red carpet for me to invite them and begin to share the gospel and love on them. And uh, so from one year from yesterday uh, to being right here. Pete, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Yes, Pastor. All right. So this is Pete, Christine, his wife, and Ryan, their son. So if you'll turn there, Pete, I'll baptize you. You cross your arms. 
Pete, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Amen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, we got a whole life group that's out there. Y'all go ahead and stand right there. All right. There you go. All right. Uh, Christine, uh, why don't you just share, just so the people will know, uh, what God in that year, what God has done since we met at that taco truck. So give us, tell us your salvation experience. Okay, thank you. So mine is a three-step process. The first process was meeting John Mark at the taco truck. Then from there... Tom and Shirley Letty came into our life and they showed me how to read the Bible and I did that all winter long. And then three, to Paul and Betty Ray because they showed me the grace of God. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Everybody give God a hand on that. And just to be clear, I wasn't working at the taco truck. I was also, or I wanted, wanted y'all to know I wasn't moonlighting. So Christine, let's turn right here and you'll cross your arm. Christine, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the newness of life. And this is their boy, Ryan. Ryan, you come also wishing to publicly profess your faith in Jesus Christ through the testimony of believers' baptism. I do. Amen. Ryan? Not yet. Don't go yet. Yeah. He's, He's ready. He's ready. In obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Let's, let's pray together, then we continue to worship. God, thank you so much for your love and your grace in the hearts and the lives of the people of Cottonwood. Thank you so much, uh, God, for uh, uh, the children that we saw earlier, the other men, DJ, and the entire family that is looking to follow you. Father, my prayer today is that this testimony, uh, this small reflection in, in visible form of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ would challenge someone else to take that next step in their faith. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Good morning, church family. It is exciting to be in the waters today as we celebrate uh, in believer's baptism those that are letting you know uh, of this, their testimony uh, through baptism of the change that they've made in the decision uh, to trust the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. And so today we're going to be celebrating with eight baptisms here at the 11 o'clock service. And so it excites me uh, to be able to introduce them as they come. If you are friends or family members... Uh, of any of these that are coming today, we want you to stand up uh, and recognize what they're doing here in the baptistry today. So our first one in the pool today is my friend Michaela Ojas. If you're friends or family of Michaela, we want you to rise in her honor. And Michaela, uh, right down here in the seat, we can kind of see them. <laughs> Super awesome. Um, Michaela is, uh, is an awesome friend of mine. Michaela is uh, playing volleyball here as part of the sports ministry a volleyball program and, and this is her second year and I'm excited that I get to coach her this year so it's gonna be super fun so Michaela I have some questions for you Michaela have you trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and asked him to forgive you of your sins yes where were you at when you made that awesome decision Pine Cove. at Pine Cove awesome get kids involved in all sorts of stuff well Michaela there's the signal <laughs> it is my privilege to baptize you my sister in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, baptized with Christ in death, raised to walk in a new life. Okay, good morning. I'm Dave Marshall, children's pastor. And first of all, I have with me this morning, Aston. This is Aston Protzman. And so if you're here this morning, family or friends of Aston, would you please stand in honor of his decision this morning? And so we can honor him and we can honor you as well. Look, there's your family and friends out there standing, uh, Aston. And so Aston, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted him to forgive your sins? Yes. And Aston, where were you when you received Christ? At home in my room. At home in your room. At home is a great place to receive Christ. Aston, based upon your testimony of faith, I get to call you my brother, and I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism. 
breeze to walk in newness of life. Next, we have Hope Fitzmorris, and this is Hope this morning, and so if you're here with Hope, family or friends, would you please stand in honor of her decision? And there's your family and friends, Hope. And Hope, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted Him to forgive your sins? Yes. And Hope, where were you when you received Christ? At my old church. At your old church. All right, now she's at her new church. All right, so we're glad you're here at Cottonwood, and we're glad you've received Christ, and based upon your testimony of faith, I call you my sister and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Married with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in the of God. And next I have Lily Faith Shear. And this is Lily Faith this morning, come to be baptized. And if you're here this morning, family or friends of Lily Faith, please stand in honor of her decision. Lily, have you received Jesus as your Savior and trusted him to forgive your sins? Yes. And Lily where, Faith, where were you at when you received Christ? At home. At home. All right. We're so grateful that you received Christ and know him as your Savior. And based upon that testimony of faith, I call you my sister and I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism, raised to walk in newness of life. Always so good when we get the opportunity to celebrate. Come on in, Carly, and uh, you can stand right over here to my right. And Mike, Dad's going to be right here, and Rex right there. Uh, this is a Collins family, uh, uh, father and uh, daughter and uh, a son that are here. And I'm, I'm sure we have fam family and friends that are out here. If you're out there, would you stand? If you're part, there they are, part of the Collins clan. And what an incredible, incredible testimony this, this is, as these three and uh, Noah to follow uh, want to come before you as their church and publicly profess their faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, Mike, uh, when were you saved? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it's been about 30 years ago uh, at church, but uh, I just never did follow the, follow the Lord in baptism. Amen. Excited to be here today. Amen. And so here he is, going to be an example for his kids. So Mike, if you'll step right up in front and there, go ahead and cross your arms right there. You're good. You're good. You can do it any way you want. He's bigger than me. <laughs> Mike, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Amen. This is boy Rex. Rex, where were you when you were saved? Uh, I was on a Guatemala trip for my school. Not long ago, right? Not and long you're ago. Here to, boy, just right after salvation, following the Lord Jesus Christ, the testimony of believers' baptism. Rex, turn there and cross your arms. Rex, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism unto death, raised to walk in the newness of life. <laughs> this is little sister, but the boss, right? And uh, Carla, where were you when you trusted Christ as Savior and Lord? I was in my room. Amen. Just with yourself and the Lord and everything. All right. Go ahead and turn there, Carly. Cross your arms. Carly, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in baptism of death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Amen. Come on, Noah. This is Noah Nance. How you doing, Noah? Noah, I know that we have some family and friends that are out there. If they're there, would you all stand? There they are, right there in the middle. You want to wave at them a little bit? Noah, where were you when you trusted Christ as Savior and Lord? My Mimi's VBS. And your Mimi's VBS. What a great thing. VBS, whatever, where God's Word is proclaimed. I know if you'll turn and face that way and cross your arms. You smile for the camera there. Noah, in obedience to our Lord's command, I baptize you, my little sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in baptism unto death, and raised to walk in the newness of life. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much for this day, uh, for these who have been here. Uh, 
uh, the, the men and the women and the, the boys and girls and then even the many, many more that were in the first service. God, thank you for a church that is passionate about loving people and reaching people and loving God with all our heart, mind, and soul, but at the same time loving others and sharing the gospel. God, as we worship, I pray that we would do as Jesus told us to do, that we would end our worship, that we would love God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and with all of our strength. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen.